So yesterday, I was at a barbecue, right? Oh, God. And 103 degree weather. Started to rain. Oh, God. And it hailed. In McAllen, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Global San, warming. San Juan, it, like, it missed us, and then like it came back for us. But it's like, what, the index was like 112 yeah, the other day? Yeah, it's crazy. And then it's like, okay, wait, I'm, I'm going to rain on you for a little bit. So I heard that there's record temperatures. I forget what city it was, but like 130 degrees. It's crazy. Murder. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. So what are your thoughts on global warming? Is it real or is it fake? <laughs> <laughs> um, God. I mean, we could feel it. <laughs> I know. From 103 degree weather to raining and hail. Like I said, it's not going to get better. <laughs> I don't know. It's just, like I said, it, it's always something. It's always something. It's always something. Always. But I don't know. It's now we have to be like, did you drink enough water? Are you going to like pass out if you go outside? Like what part of the country do you live in? Like, are you snowed in while the other, like while we're like dying of heat in South Texas and like other, other states? Like it's. I don't know. God, you ask these hard questions. I wasn't I, prepared for all this. <laughs> I heard that like in the next 30 to 50 years, like Saudi Arabia it will be unlivable. Like they won't be able to live there. It's crazy. Oh, my God. But I, I feel like obviously global warming goes in and out. Like it, it's yeah. always happened. It, it'll it forgives a little bit and then like it'll attack you pretty hard and then say, OK, you know, I was too hard on you. Let me let me chill out. <laughs> but then, you know, I'm going to come back for you in a couple months. So <laughs> but the weather down here in South Texas has been atrociously hot. Yeah. And I don't understand why they close water parks. Yeah. Like it's it's like 90 degrees in December. So. And they, you know, at where, where I live, like near far or whatever, they have like the, the city, uh, like water parks for the kids. And, oh, this, this is our last weekend to be open. I'm like, why? Is it going to freaking snow next month? Like, yeah. it's hot all the time. But I don't know. How do you, how do you feel like your children are going to grow up in this world where everything is changing so drastically? Like, I'm honestly terrified. Think about like, it. Like, I never had to grow up in fear of where I went for the day or who I talked to or I could walk to my best friend's house like down the street. Like you can't even walk your neighborhood nowadays. Like with mm. all these kids being abducted and kidnapped and freaking amber alerts on my phone at like four in the morning like scaring the shit out of me and it's just it's sad to say but like our world isn't as safe as it was you know like yeah. 25 years ago 30 years ago 40 50 years ago it's just it's changed so much what do you think it is the end of time <laughs> no <laughs> i i don't know it's just it's it's not how it used to be. Not even the people that you meet, you know, are how people used to be back then. Everybody used to be, like, so nice and forgiving. And I think society just puts a lot of stress on us daily. You know, we, we, we live to work. Yeah. We work to live, like, to pay our bills. You know, I know a lot of families don't even get to spend time with their family because they're working so much and... Do you There's, think it's the the whole American dream that that's it's what's been forced down our throats? I think it's why? overrated. You think so? Yeah. You know, not. I'm not saying that you know you have to live in like a double wide and be miserable, or an apartment and be miserable. Like, yes, everybody wants like you know a place to live and a place that they can call home. But home for some people is like, oh, I have to have like this four million dollar house. And, you know, like this $3,000 dog. And they think, I think a lot of people think that, you know, it can buy happiness. Yeah, but we're all going to, we're all going to end up in that one grave one day and none of it is going to matter.